this is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. In today's video, I have a great example of what a bad sway bar end link sounds like and what it looks like. First, let's briefly discuss what the sway bar is. A sway bar, also known as an anti-roll bar, anti-sway bar, stabilizer bar, is used on vehicles to help reduce roll during aggressive cornering and also while driving on irregular road surfaces. The sway bar is actually a torsion spring that connects the suspension system on one side of the vehicle to the other. Usually the main part of the sway bar is connected to the body or frame via the sway bar mounting brackets and bushings. Each end of the sway bar is connected to the suspension system on the right and left of the vehicle via the sway bar end links. Most modern vehicles are equipped with front sway bars and many are also equipped with rear sway bars depending upon the type of suspension system that they use. When sway or roll on a vehicle equipped with a sway bar occurs, the sway bar acts as a link between the right and the left side of the vehicle, transferring the up and down movement of one side to the other. This transfer of movement helps to reduce roll and keeps the vehicle more stable under these conditions. Of course, a common point of failure in the sway bar system is the sway bar end link. Many sway bar end links use ball sockets at the top and bottom of the sway bar end link, and some use bushings. Some use a combination of a ball socket and a bushing. Both the ball sockets and bushings fail similarly, causing similar symptoms. One typical symptom is a rapid light knocking or rattling. Let's go ahead and take a listen to that. On that vehicle, you can hear a light rattling noise when traveling through a parking lot with slightly irregular surfaces. Here's another video of the same vehicle. This video shows a louder thumping noise when rapidly turning the wheel from side to side. Now once under the vehicle checking for play in the sway bar, I found that the lower ball socket on the sway bar end link had play in it. This is typically what it looks like. I had to use a pry bar to discover the play, but sometimes just grabbing the link with your bare hand and forcing it up and down will expose the problem. It's also fair to mention that the sway bar bushing can also be a source of noise. These bushings can become worn and allow the sway bar to move excessively inside the bushing. Usually, in my experience, this leads to a more intense, low-pitch, thud type noise. But this is also something to keep in mind. On vehicles that have sway bar end links equipped with bushings, usually a visual inspection will help you to pinpoint the issue. Many times, you may find worn, cracked, or missing bushings. Other times, you may find gaps between the bushings, allowing for play. Here's another example of that noise on my Ford Edge going down a dirt road. I'll follow up with some video inside the wheel well while traveling down that same road. Now some things to keep in mind, diagnosing noises in the steering and suspension system can be very tricky. There are many components that can fail in similar fashions and produce noises similar to the noises that you just heard. A thorough inspection of the entire suspension system is necessary to correctly diagnose where the source of your noise is coming from. This video is not a comprehensive video showing everything you need to know to correctly diagnose any and all suspension system noises. This is only an example of what it may sound like and what it may look like when a sway bar end leak fails. All scenarios were not gone over in this video. Folks, that is it for this video. Please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. There may be some things I need to clarify and that's where I do that. Also, please read the disclaimer at the very end of it. Folks, thanks again. Please like and subscribe.